Hey guys, so today I was able to get away from the house. My husband actually told me just go, go do whatever you want, go buy some books. And so of course I took on that opportunity. I came to Barnes & Noble to see what I can find, pick up some books. I saw on the Barnes & Noble app that they had a sale for some books, not all the books, but it's um, buy one, get one 50% off. And so I'm gonna see what books I can get with that sale. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I'm looking a little crazy right now, um, but the kids are sick. If you have not seen on my main um, Instagram page, the kids are sick and I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm catching a little bit of something, but it's more just of like a cough. Other than that, I'm doing fine. But um, yeah, I am gonna take you guys along. After I get some books, I will probably come back to the car, show you guys what I got. And then I'm gonna stop at Target real quick because I know Target also has like some Christmas stuff out at their Target dollar spot. And I love Christmas time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and yeah. I'll bring you along first before we do anything else i need to grab myself a cough drop so that i'm not coughing up my lungs in there scaring people off so all right guys so i am back from doing my little shopping spree <laughs> not really but um so i only got two books i had so on the app i had about four or five books that i wanted to get uh because they showed that they were 50 percent off so 50 per or get one by the next one 50 percent off um but the books that i chose were not on that sale and that's okay that's okay because i have an order of um from book outlet coming in too so i have a lot of books coming in right now um but i just wanted to show you guys real quick what i got so the first book i got is by the book um i saw this book at a grocery store not too long ago and i really wanted to grab it but i just i had so much in my cart that day that i didn't want to overdo it i know the book was not a lot but i just i honestly didn't want to overdo it so i had left it but it says isabel is completely lost when she first began her career in publishing after college she did not expect to be 25 still living at home and one of the few black employees at her publishing house overworked and underpaid constantly torn between speaking up or stifling herself Izzy thinks there must be more to this publishing life. So when she overhears her boss complaining about a beastly high profile author who has failed to deliver this long awaited manuscript, Isabel sees an opportunity to prove her worth and finally get the recognition she deserves. So I love this because it's a rom-com, so it's romance and it's a little bit of comedy, <clears throat> but it also is about a woman who writes. Um, and I love that because I am an aspiring author. I would love to write my own book. Um, I do have my blog where I write, but I would love to publish a book one day. So I love reading books that are about writers. Um, yeah, that's just me. The next book is The Messy Lives of Book People. The lady at the counter at the register, as soon as she saw it, she said, this is supposed to be a really good book, so I'm excited. Um, but this this book looks really interesting. The synopsis says, Mother of two live barely scrapes by as a maid to make ends meet, often finding escape in a good book while daydreaming of becoming a writer herself. That is my life right there. I want to be a writer, and I escape by reading a good book. So she can't believe her luck when she lands a job housekeeping for her personal hero, mega best-selling author, Essie Starling, a mysterious and intimidating recluse. The last thing Liv expected was to be the only person Essie talks to, which leads to a teeniest friendship. When Essie passes away suddenly, okay, so this is gonna have some sort of like emotion. This is gonna be emotional. Liv is astonished to learn that her dying wish was for Liv to complete her final novel. You know what? That that part right there kind of reminds me of Verity. If you haven't read Verity, it's about, and it's, well, she is an author, but she's not like a huge author. And she finishes, or they, she gets hired to finish um, a novel from that Verity had began reading. But anyways, back to this. 
Uh, but to do so, Liv will have to step into Essie's shoes. As Liv begins to write, she uncovers secrets from the past that reveal a surprising connection between the two women, one that will change Liv's own story forever. Okay, so I think either Essie's gonna be like her mom or grandmother, maybe a relative, like a sister or something, I don't know. But yeah, this book looks like it's gonna be really good. So that's what I got from Barnes and Noble and now I'm gonna head over to Target and look at the Christmas section. So I have realized that I have completely failed at turning on the camera inside the store, but in my defense, I am very camera shy in front of people and the stores seem to be extremely back today so as much as i want to actually take you along i can't um there was really not much to see at target anyways i looked at their target or not target section the dollar section the bullseye i think some people call it <clears throat> and they had some cute stuff but nothing that really like made me want to spend money there so i left I did not get anything from Target. Um, and now, now I'm gonna go thrifting. So I'm at Goodwill. Goodwill is right over there. I'm going to see what I can find. Um, I don't wanna go over about maybe like $20 here at Target. I mean, not Target, Goodwill. I don't wanna go over $20, so I'm gonna see what I can find if I find like any Christmas decorations for a reasonable price or maybe even go find myself another book here. So. I'll let you guys know hopefully which the parking lot is full right now but hopefully it's not too full um so that i can actually take you guys along for at least one store right one little adventure but i don't know we'll see we'll see okay done with my final stop um i actually ended up just getting a cookbook i will show you guys that real quick it in the back of here so i'm trying to do this with one hand holding the phone and the other hand grabbing everything out of the back. so i like to get a lot of my like cookbook and recipe books from goodwill because i don't want to spend 30 dollars or more on a cookbook so i found this one is cookies are magic so it's um, cookie recipes and we love cookies in my household. So yeah, um, this was, I think I paid like $2.99 for it. Maybe not, cause I was surprised with how much I just spent. But um, I spent $17 here and it didn't even feel like it. I got myself a pair of jeans. This was for $7.99. They're really cute. They have like little, little cuts on the knee and then they are straight legged. So. I don't know i don't know about you guys but i'm really liking the jean like looser fitted jeans and jeans that are not skinnies at the bottom i don't know why maybe it's my body shape i don't know but i'm not really into like skinnies anymore i'm really enjoying wide leg pants and so i got those uh, um, and then i got myself this kind of like silky button down it is a long sleeve but I grabbed it because the color is beautiful. Look at that color. It is like an olive green and I only spent $4.99 on this. Um, but I was thinking with those jeans, putting this on, I can leave it unbuttoned with like a white tank top underneath. I think that would look really, really cute and some nice beige high heels, makeup all done. I will look completely different, but <laughs> that's what I was thinking with this outfit. I like to thrift a lot of my books, like especially my children's books because I am a homeschool mom. So a lot of our picture books and even some of our like read aloud chapter books are from Goodwill. But I do a lot of my shopping, if not about 97% of my shopping here at Goodwill. I just, I love it. Um, when you are a larger family, and I have a family of five, including myself clothes can get pretty pricey especially in the times that we're living right now and so i like to go thrifting i also thrift like home decorations christmas things and yeah but that is what i got at goodwill now i'm gonna just go to walmart go find another um like a chain link leash for one of our dogs um we just got her like three three four months ago <clears throat> 
but she's a mixture of german shepherd and golden retriever and she's like she's already bigger than our like 10 11 year old dog and she's only like four months old and she's already bigger than him she snapped her leash the other day thankfully our neighbors are very kind um and they knocked on our door and brought her back so we haven't been able to like put her outside freely because we're scared she's gonna snap the other leash so i'm gonna get her a um like a chain link leash right now to have her outside so that's what i'm gonna do i am gonna end this video here again guys i'm so sorry i couldn't bring you guys in i just i need to get over the this like camera shyness of not being able to record in front of people hopefully um i'll be able to go out soon again and bring you book shopping with me i think the next time i will go like during the week or something so that i don't have to just feel awkward filming in a bookshop with tons and tons of people but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure to subscribe if you have not and i will see you in my next video